Ranger School is one of the toughest training courses in the U.S. Army. Soldiers who volunteer know they will train to exhaustion and must demonstrate they are mentally, emotionally, and physically tough enough to be a member of this exclusive and elite team. Anybody joins the Army, they want to be the best there is, and you have to have that type of personality to overcome and adapt be the top 10 percent leaders. Sergeant First Class William Gerald knew from age 17 that he had the drive and courage to one day live the Rangers creed. He and fellow Rangers demonstrated their premier training for audiences at Army Strong Experience at Fort Benning, Georgia. The event showcased what it means to be Army Strong. Drop, Ranger. Ranger is the one! We here at the Ranger School feel that the Ranger Course is the highest state of combat preparedness training that exists in the United States Army and perhaps the world. Army Rangers are trained to perform missions under high stress with minimal sleep and food while also leading fellow soldiers through adverse situations. Leadership training here in Ranger School uh, goes from uh, just basic into uh, them trying to control 16-man squads or 9-man squads depending on what uh, phase they are in. So it goes from here to the jungle environment, to the uh, mountains, into the swamp. To prepare for the many complex and joint operations missions, Ranger training includes aviation tactics, aerial repelling, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and demolition. Sergeant First Class Gerald and fellow Rangers understand the level of exclusivity that comes with being an Army Ranger. Making the cut amounts to determination and adherence to the warrior ethos never quit. It's just your drive, honestly, as an individual to, to want it. I'm Liz Mickler reporting for the U.S. Army. So you have members of the 75th Ranger Regiment, which are a actual Ranger designated unit, 100% airborne. And you have the Ranger School, which will take, train, and qualify anyone willing to submit to the training. Together, they make up the elite force of U.S. Army Rangers. What they get is they get a confidence that they can execute their mission as a leader in the force under the worst possible conditions. The Rangers have a long and very decorated history. The early beginning of Ranger units and tactics reportedly date back to 1670 on the American frontier. In America, there have been different forms of Rangers. And uh, prior to the impl implementation of actual Ranger, tactics and doctrine inside the Army. Um, you had several Ranger heroes uh, in the Revolutionary War and even before that. And it's kind of progressed into what it is today, which is essentially the, the world's premier leadership school and the world's premier small infantry light strike force. I think probably Ranger training, obviously, one of the hardest things I've ever done in my career, but also the most rewarding. Uh, not only does it you know, teach you a lot about yourself, it teaches you a lot about how to, to lead and be led. The 6th Ranger Training Battalion, stationed at Camp James E. Rudder in Florida, conducts the final phase of the U.S. Army Ranger School. The Ranger Creed ever present as each soldier's journey begins. What surprised me the most is uh, even at a little bit older age, I can hold up as, as well as the young guys can. Despite the rigorous 61-day training course, the 40-year-old Command Sergeant Major says quitting was never an option. He came to set an example for younger soldiers he leads, while also fulfilling a personal goal of earning the coveted Ranger tab. Once you graduate from Ranger School, it's only the beginning because now you have the rest of your career and the rest of your life to live up to the creed, and that's really what being a Ranger is all about. Readily will I display the intestinal fortitude required to fight on to the Ranger objective and complete the mission. Though I be the lone survivor, Rangers lead the way. Reporting for Go Army, I'm Marianne Razouk. Army soldiers break the night silence with a fierce attack. This is the final phase of Ranger Training School. They assaulted the objective, took out all the uh, opposition force, found the HVT, and was able to eliminate them. 
Securing HVTs or high-valued targets is among the missions that test whether soldiers have got what it takes to join the elite force of U.S. Army Rangers. Hey Rangers, let's go. Push to the choke point. Students drop ranks and names and become Ranger on the 61-day road to becoming a stronger tactical leader mentally, emotionally, and physically. Three rigorous training phases that include hand-to-hand -hand combat, air assault, patrol operations, and mountain rappelling culminate in Florida with jungle swamp and boat operations. Push back, one, two, three. You will find something about yourself that you didn't know before, and you will be challenged in ways you haven't before. Only about half the students, on average, push beyond their limits for stress, fatigue, and sleep deprivation to pass the course. Ranger, wake up. Those who do are driven by the unparalleled leadership training and honor of wearing the coveted Ranger tab. How tired are they? Like, how are they feeling? E extremely tired at this point. Uh, probably averaging about two hours of sleep. It's been one of the worst days, to tell you that. Between the, the uh, rain this morning and then the um, triple digit temperatures again. It's, it's tough. And it's not over. Student soldiers head back into the darkness of the forest armed with the same drive that began their ranger journey. If you can make it through here, you can make it through a lot in life. Reporting for Go Army, I'm Marianne Rizzo. And we're making sure that all students are locked down when we have lightning strikes within this 10 mile radius. Swamp missions are part of the rigorous final phase of one of the world's premier leadership training programs, U.S. Army Ranger School. You're going to have snakes and bugs and spiders all over the place in the swamp. Uh, they're probably going to walk just over a half mile through the swamp. It uh, doesn't seem very long, but it'll probably take them uh, two to three hours to do it. Down this one. It's over stage. Charlie Company 2nd Lieutenant William Walker will navigate through the swamp with a 105-pound rucksack on his back. Let's go. We all move with a sense of urgency. We get out of here. The clock is ticking toward Charlie Company's next mission. With roughly one hour of sleep the night before, the simplest of tasks proved challenging. Trying to teach them the basics of offensive operations uh, in the infantry while also testing student leadership through a series of exercises that continue almost around the clock. This particular part of the uh, exercise is all about teaching a guy how to bounce back, be resilient, and push beyond his perceived exertion levels. Master Sergeant Robert Usnick with Army Special Forces expected unparalleled mental and physical challenges at the Elite Ranger School. You think you know where your limits are, and you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and creating new limits every single day. Charlie 1 and Charlie 2 are going to come down from their actual objectives. They're going to move down the main uh, route here. The largest objective and assault mission of the Florida phase of Ranger School awaits the students about a mile on shore. Hey, Joel, can we clear in here? They assaulted the objective, took out all the uh, opposition force. A successful final mission, but students' tactical leadership will continue to be tested through the final hour of their 61-day training. They have to walk to their patrol bases, and there will be ambushes along the way. There will be uh, attacks in the patrol bases, so the evening is far from over. Reporting for the U.S. Army, I'm Marianne Rizouk.